Hey, Brown Beauties. Welcome to Well Honestly, the podcast. I'm Andretta. And I'm Akila, And we're your hosts. Well, honestly, what is this podcast all about? Our show is about women doing better tomorrow than they are doing today. So we can take control of our health. We give you real talk and educate you on all things related to health, mental wellness, and nutrition for brown women all over the world. Once you know what choices you have, you can do better because we know the struggle is real. We invite you to come as you are, but leave inspired to become your best healthy self. So let's get started. All right, all right. Get excited, everybody. I am so excited, Akito. This is our very first podcast. Very first one. Numero uno. Numero uno. Do you remember when we first came up with this idea? Ciao. Listen, you know what? We thought about this a while ago, and we were so ambitious. We wanted to get it done, get it done, get it done, on top of the million and one things we had to do before this. And divine timing really came in because... We did not get a chance to really sit down and get this thing going until a good four months. It's been four months since yes. we came up with the idea. Yes, yes. And and let's talk about that because um, who are we? You know, we're two brown women. We got the nerve, honey. <laughs> and we're going we're gonna to keep it real, though. One of the things you're going to find about us is this is a format that we're going to be open and be able to discuss any issues yeah. that are related to health and wellness, our mental health, spiritual health, mm-hmm. all those, anything health related, uh, we're going to talk about on the show. Yeah. I mean, I think it's important that we do this platform just because, you know, me and Andretta feel this way. And I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to say it's true. There's no one else that's doing it like this. Um, well, you have a mother-daughter duo. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Who has a similar outlook, maybe a different approach, but the similar outlook on wellness. And, you know, we want to encourage you all um, to break whatever kind of stronghold stigma you may have about wellness, how it relates to your everyday life, and just let your hair down and learn a couple things and laugh about it and and grow. That's that's really um, some of the key things that I think we're excited to do. And you know what else is so important? Um, We'll let you come just like you are. You can come... Come in now, just like you are. No, there's no judgment zone here at all. No. Um, We are going to talk about everything that you've ever heard of in life as it comes to our health. Specifically, you know, a lot of times we sweep things under the rug Mm -hmm. and we don't talk about these things. But we're going to talk about that and we're going to have guests that are going to talk about those things as well. So we're kind of excited. We really are. And bear with us. Uh, We're newbies to this game. Yes, we are. We have our engineer, Brian, who is helping us. He is pivotal in this whole thing. So if you hear him, you know, it's because this is one big podcast family. And we're just really trying to be at the top of the game. I'm coming for Joe Budden. I'm coming for Joe (laughs) Rogan. I'm coming for everybody who has his multi-million dollar studios and equipment. Like, I think we could do the same thing. Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely, (laughs) Keila. Because we're going straight. We're going straight to the top with this. We we have no, uh, we got so much to say. I mean, <laughs> listen, and we're going to say it. So why don't we go ahead and go into who we are and why we started this? We wanted to um, kind of introduce ourselves formally um, because some people may or may not know who we are. So it's best that we just go ahead and, and give the world exactly who we are coming from the horse's mouth. So Andretta, you want to kick it off? I'll kick it off. Okay. So um, when did I become interested in wellness? Uh well, <laughs> I'll tell you, I had a health scare. And usually health scares is what make most people pay attention to their health. And it made me, uh, I had, um, I was newly married at the time. And I went to the doctor and uh, she told me that um, she saw some early stages uh, of cancer in my uterus. They call it uh, dysplasia. And uh, she said, I have to watch this for you. And she watched it for a little while. And then one day I went in and she said, um, I think we need to operate. And it scared me half to death. I had never been in a hospital before except to be born. And I was like, operate? She's like, yeah. I said, there has to be another way. And uh, she said, well, you know, she was a surgeon, an OBGYN surgeon. And, and if you know anything about them, they love to cut. 
So she was like, well, we know we could just cut it out now and then you won't have to worry about it down the road. And I said, oh, let me go think about that. So I went home and I got on Dr. Google. Okay. I went to Dr. Google to find out what other methods and ways this could be taken care of and found one. And I went back to the doctor, presented her with the option. And you know what she said to me? And this is when I learned that we have to remember that doctors are practitioners. They are practicing medicine. She said, oh, you're absolutely right. We can try that method. The method was just to simply freeze the cancer cells out, freeze them out. And uh, she said, but we can't do them here at this particular facility. But guess what? You can come to my private office and I can I have the equipment there and I'll take care of it there. Two weeks later, I was in her private office. She uh, she used uh, I felt maybe I think it took all of 30 minutes and the cells were frozen out of my body and I've never had them again. So she froze the cancer cells. Out. She, she she used there's a there's a particular terminology that you use for that, and I'm probably going to say it wrong, so yeah, I'm not so. going to say it. <laughs> but uh, there was a particular method that she used. But what that taught me was that we have to take control of our own health. Had I not gone and and did my own research, I probably would not have a uterus today. Mm. And uh, that, and 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 if you know anything about that, you know that it would throw you uh, definitely into menopause. And mm-hmm. I was too young for that. And like how I, old were you at the time? I was forty, well, about forty-seven. Mm. And so I, um, and like I said, newly married, so that wasn't going to work not to have a uterus. So, <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. So anyway, but what that did for me was it made me take control of my health. Mm-hmm. It made me become more aware of my health. And from there, I realized, I said, guess what? Now, if I have to, and I don't mind sharing my story, because if I can share this story with others, this would help some other women who feel alone when they are diagnosed with something, because that's a scary moment when somebody used that C word, you know, cancer. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh my God, you know, you just really feel like you don't have any control. Mm-hmm. But um, uh, thanks to the power of the uh, Lord and uh, thanks to uh, him giving me the direction to say, hey, you don't have to accept that. And what was really fascinating was how the doctor responded when I went back to her and said, um, Let's try it this way. Mm. She was automatic with it by saying, yes, we can. But I wasn't presented that option in the very beginning. Yeah. So that just told me that we have to uh, take control of our, our health. So anyway, I also, um, uh, my background is um, I also went into, I used to be in the health and beauty aids industry. So somehow I pivoted. I've had several, uh, let's not talk about my seven or nine lives, uh, but uh, I've had them. And um, I also used to do aesthetics. And uh, so, you know, when you're in aesthetics, you have a chance to touch a lot of women and you get a chance. A lot of people don't realize it, but an esthetician can tell a lot about your health from your face. Mm -hmm. Um, So I started seeing we had so many. uh, We had three stores and three malls. I think we were seeing thousands of women uh, a year. And during that time, I noticed that we had a lot of health issues, you know. So that was another reason that I wanted to focus on health. And then I took a U-turn. And um, most people that know me know me from real estate. Uh, I am one of the top producers in the Chicagoland area. Hey. Hey, that's who I am. Flex. (laughs) I'm going to flex a little bit because that's been a 15-year career. And uh, But again, my passion... So it still never dwindled. My passion has always been about wellness. So I went and decided to take it a step further, and I wanted to become a health coach. So I went to a school called Integrative Nutrition to study health coaching, and there I learned a little bit more about you know how to coach women into better health. But then I said, you know what? That's a lot of fluff, fluff there. <laughs> I want to take it a step further. So guess who's in school again? I am. Mm. This time, though, is functional nutrition. And we're going to talk about what that means down the road. But I am in school again to become a functional nutritional practitioner. I am, you know, I'm one of those eager learners. So I'm always trying to learn something. (laughs) So, but um, 
that's pretty much where I, um, that's pretty much my background. I'm one of those people that just got fed up with the misdiagnosis and all the, uh, look, always looking for alternative cures. And, and when people tell me no, when a doctor tells me uh, no, I say, uh, yes, I can. Um, so, you know, this is how I decided to uh, get into the wellness uh, realm of things. But we're going to, in a moment, after Keela tells you her background, tell you what led us to Brown Women Wellness. So, Keela, what happened? What about you? Uh, well, mine is um, something not too similar, but we have taken similar paths. Uh, so, for me, you know, you being my mom, I grew up around um, health a lot. And my father is a wellness guru ever since I came out the womb. I've always known him to be all about nutrition, holistic wellness, and all of that. So when you have um, two parents who preach the same ideology, but they go about it in different ways, it just becomes ingrained in you. Now, for me, uh, I'm 34. I just turned 34. So when I was in my 20s, I knew better, but I did not choose better. I partied a lot in my 20s, uh, as you should, as you do in your 20s. Uh, a lot of heavy drinking, a lot of crazy eating, um, either overeating, not eating. Uh, as a young woman, and I had some some body issues, which we'll go in in uh, later episodes, I would always be on somebody's diet trying to look a certain type of way and... Uh, because of that, it always I always had some type of lingering thing in my head when it came to health. And then, you know, I gradually became what I would call a fake hypochondriac because I was always concerned with being healthy, but I really wasn't doing anything about about staying and or getting healthy. So, you know, you have the concern, that concern would turn into some type of fear I would create in my head. And from there, I would um, take it and give it a whole story. And then from there, it would literally create fear and worry in my body and obsessiveness and all these things. But I wasn't really taking action from those fears. So I went through that for some years. Um, and then as I grew up, uh, I decided to actually do something about being healthy. And I decided to uh, make it a journey and make it a lifelong journey, uh, one that ebbs and flows. So I've learned how to do that. But, um, you know, I'm very passionate about women's health because I, I in my 30s, I am seeing too many of even some friends um, and people that I don't know who are suffering from issues that if we would take a look at what we do on a daily basis would either eliminate and or severely help whatever it is that we have going on. I don't I don't think that we should be in our 30s having major health issues that of like our, our grandmas used to have in like their 70s and 80s. Like there's no reason for a 30-something year old to have those experiences. So if we just you know, incorporate certain daily activities in our lives, I think that it would change us for the better. And then with women, I personally feel like it, when it starts with the woman, it goes to the whole family. So for me, you know, it's just been a, a, a life lesson. And I wish that, you know, when you're young, you don't listen to your, your parents. So it's like you can, uh, Andretti used to preach to me all the time about what to do and how to do it and all that. And I would hear, but I wouldn't really be, re I wouldn't retain it because it's, it's too close to home, right? So, uh, We'll talk about it and a little bit more about why I decided to be a part of Brown Women Wellness. But my journey just stems from I want to look, I want to be 102, right? <laughs> and I want to look 60. Well, you have a grandfather that's 93 that I looks know. Uh, 60 he, right he, now. He truly does. And so I come from good bones, good stock, and I want to continue that. So, you know. Um, I, uh, it's just been a journey and I think I, I've, I've experienced some health uh, issues that it may not have been on the scarier side of like the C word, but it's definitely been things that, um, I have corrected through, uh, holistic approaches. So, um, I'm here to bring, you know, a, a younger, fresher perspective. Exactly. And one of the things about this that's going to be so unique is, um, we are not advocating whether you should be a vegan a vegetarian, uh, low-carb, uh, keto, um, 
intermediate fasting. Atkins. We, Atkins. Uh, we believe in actually every last one of them, you know, uh, because at some point we probably have tried every last one sure. of them. For sure. Okay. So we're not the people that will say this is wrong and that is wrong. All we are advocating is for you to be healthy. Are you tired of being tired? Are you aching, have pain in unexplained places? At the root of all diseases like diabetes and high blood pressure and many more is chronic inflammation. There are 10 wild-crafted organic hand-picked herbs in the Be Well Anti-Inflammation Tea that will help calm those flames. Go to brownwomenwellness.com and get 15% off by putting in the code WELLHONEST15. So, um, we're going to talk about why did we start Brown Women Wellness? Why is this a thing, Andretta? Why is this a thing? So, it all started on a trip to Atlanta, Georgia. On a dark and gloomy night. (laughs) (laughs) I remember this so well. This just came totally out of the blue. I went to visit my aunt, uh, my cousin aunt, in Atlanta, and I hadn't seen her in a little while, and I walked into her house. She was sitting on the front living room couch. And as usual, you know, when you're in health and wellness, and this is something I have to try to strive to work against sometimes, is when I see people and I can see that there is some type of issue going on inside their body that they're struggling, it takes everything in my soul not to say anything. Me too. (laughs) Okay. It's very hard. I mean, sometimes I can just see that they're struggling, but, you know, you, you, what I had to learn was pe- you have to wait for people to be open and receptive to mm-hmm. hear the information. Otherwise, you're just preaching to the choir. But when I saw my aunt and uh, I went in, into her house, I felt a little different because, uh, you know, my mother uh, passed away in 2012. And one of the things that I learned, I learned something during that time, and that was you have to speak out to your loved ones when you recognize something is going astray. Um, There were a few warning signs. My mother was extremely healthy, had never been in the hospital. And um, uh, I remember being home. Home for me is Montgomery, Alabama, where I was born and raised. Uh, And she brought out all these pills. And I was alarmed because I didn't know she was on so many prescription drugs. And uh, that was my first warning sign that something was wrong. And um, so when I saw my uh, uh, cousin, her name is Elsie, and uh, I call her my aunt cousin because she's like an aunt to me because more than a cousin, but we'll get back to that. When I saw her legs were swollen, they were swollen so very large, very unusual. And I, I I was like, what's going on with you? Why are your legs so swollen? And she told me that she was in pain. She told me that uh, she was having trouble walking. I said, what? She said, and here's a key word, she said. I've been to several doctors. She'd been to several doctors. And one of the things we have to remember about doctors is that they're there for your symptoms. They're going to treat symptoms. They don't treat the cause. They'll treat the symptoms. So they were giving her tons of prescription pills uh, to try to treat. She had high blood pressure. That was one of the problems that she had. And so they were giving her pills for that. And I just looked at her and I said, you know what? We're going to do something different. And she looked at me because she knows I love health and wellness. She knows that's one of my passions. And she said, what is it? Tell me whatever it is, I will do it. I said, we're going to go and find a health food store. And we went to Sevenada. So if you're from Atlanta, Atlanta, Georgia, uh, Mm -hmm. shout out to Sevenada. We went there and we, I went and found 10 herbs because what you got to know about herbs is that herbs will work, okay? If you get the right herb combination, they will work and they work fast. So I got these 10 herbs together, ran back to her house. I started making this, this, this herbal concoction on her stove and I let it sit overnight and I showed this on Facebook, I showed this concoction, my all my steps on Facebook, and lo and behold, I realized that I had so many people following me, wanting to know what the outcome was going to be. And when they saw 
I, I mean, we didn't say anything about it at first. We just kind of showed us making the tea. I even took pictures of the tea. I remember sitting the tea outside on my aunt's step and taking pictures of it. I was so excited. I put it in some mason jars and we let, and, and she started sipping on it. I was there for a week. And by day three, she came to me. I remember this so clearly. She came to me. She said, I feel different. And I was holding my breath because I was like, is that, I wonder if she can really tell me, you know, does she feel bad, different, or good, different? Yeah. Because, <laughs> you know, but I didn't know. Mm-hmm. She said, no, I feel different. She said, I have more energy. I feel light. And she said, um, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how it all started. Uh, she wanted to know what that was. She wanted to know what, how to make that herself. So I started, I taught her how to make it herself. And trust me, she doesn't run out even today. Talk about the results, though, because this is the this is the turning point of when you realized, uh, oh, I got something here. Because she was taking it, then she went to the doctor again. Yes. And what happened? Her blood pressure had normalized. It was near stroke levels. She was near before stroke. she took it this was tea. it was Keila. I I have to remember that because she's been doing so well that I have to remember that she was at stroke level. Uh, before she started drinking this tea, uh, she also had to cut back on the medications mm-hmm. because um, she was she didn't need them as much anymore. Not to say she didn't need them at all, but she right. didn't need them as much anymore. And trust me, right now to this day, she will never run out of that tea. If she yeah. thinks she's about to run out of that tea, she calls me. But those herbs really helped her. And I said, and then there were so many people asking me for the formula. Mm-hmm. And this is where Brown Women Wellness started. <laughs> yeah, yep, I remember that. Yes, that's exactly. It was an aha moment. Yeah, uh, my aha moment, because originally uh, she was telling me, Andretta was telling me about all of this. And I'm like, what? What is going on? Like everything was happening so fast. And I remember her coming to me saying, I'm going to start a, 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 um, a Facebook group. And because I get so many people asking me about this tea and about Elsie and all this, and she just started it and it just took off. And I don't know what I was doing in my life at the time. This is all of maybe what, like two years ago? Just This was August of 2019. It was a year ago. Yeah. Okay, it feels like forever, but um, I don't know what I was doing, but it just was every time I would talk to you, it would be, oh, I, this many people joined the group and oh, I'm getting this, that and the third and we should really do something with this. And and then the name Brown Woman Wellness just kind of came up. Yes. And that was it. That was the name. And I'm like, that name has a, a jingle, ringle, tingle to it. Like, yes. I like that. Yes. Um, but I, for me, jumped on board. Andretta did a trade show and I helped her with it. And um, it was over there at the. Um, I think it was the, the Croc, Croc, the Croc Center. Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Over South there side in, of Chicago. Um, what is that? And Pullman, in West Pullman. Yes. And um, man, listen, we weren't prepared the first. I mean, we were, but we weren't. We had right? the, we had the so tea in we plastic had, bags. We had nothing to sell. We, had, we weren't really trying to sell it. Really, no, per we se. were not. <laughs> we were just trying to get education out there. Like, hey, try this tea. It's almost like a market research thing, if you will. We didn't, that's not really what it was for, but that's what we did. We ended up doing it that way. And I have the video. I should post this somewhere on on the Facebook group. But when I tell you our booth was the hottest thing out of all of those booths, and it was many, many, many different businesses there, and it was all types of businesses. I couldn't turn around without somebody tapping me. Well, first of all, it started because... um, Andretta was presented to speak. Uh, they were asked her to speak on wellness, and she tore it down. Like, it was it was good. It was good, 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 good. I have the video, and it was heartfelt. And she shared the story of Elsie and, and my grandmother and just all of the beginning origins. And she just, her passion came through. And when she was done, I had left to go make sure I manned the booth because I knew people were going to come over. I didn't realize on my way out, I'm getting taps. Like, you got that tea she talked about? <laughs> what, 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 where can I get this? Where can I get that? So we had made some to sample. Honey, we had to give people, if you remember sure this, did. we had to give people the tea. Like, okay, well, we're not selling this, but you can get a couple, like, baggies of tea right. and make it yourself. <laughs> and it was like we was selling drugs. Like, right. it, was, <laughs> it was the wildest thing. And so... Um, that was when I realized like, okay, now mind you, I'm in my thirties and the crowd there was all types of different ages. Um, but I noticed it didn't matter. Parts of the story worked for where people were in their journey. So there were 
ages of my age in their 30s um, up until like 70s, 80s that were just like, okay, well, what do I need to do? How can this work for me? Um, I, I'm suffering from this or I know somebody that needs this. So when I saw that, y'all, I was like, you know what? She came back okay. and, and, and and got into the packaging part, the marketing okay. part. Yeah. For me, <laughs> you know, I never, I never thought anything of like, I never realized how important this kind of awareness needs to be. I mean, y'all, I aware, I'm, I'm the friend that when they come to for any kind of ailment, they hit up Akila. Oh, well, you know, I, I was having this and what do you think I should take for that? Because I'm like the medicine woman around my my circle, right? But that was just my circle. I never thought like, man, it's so many people that really need this information because either one, they don't know. Number two, they think that it's way bigger than it needs to be and they just need a guided hand. And when I saw the overwhelming, overwhelming crowd that was just clamoring for this tea, I said, oh, no, 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 no. Let's make this into a viable business. Let's make the and my thing is this, y'all. I believe that we deserve luxury. Not only just as far as your Gucci's and your Louis Vuittons and all these other kind of things that are nice, right? But we deserve luxury in the wellness space. You know, um, you just like you unbox something that costs twelve hundred dollars or whatever the case may be, you want to unbox something that costs you twenty seven or forty that is going to change your life. You want to feel good about it at the same time. So I came on board to really just kind of uh, I don't know brand brown wellness, make it a make it a more polished and that jewel. She, and that she did. She branded it. Do you want to bulletproof your immune system to fight viruses during cold and flu season? A cup of Be Well Immunity can keep the doctor away and keep that immune system at optimal levels. There are eight wild-crafted, organic, hand-picked herbs that will do just that. Go to brownwomenwellness.com and get 15% off your next purchase using code WELLHONEST15. All right, so uh, we're back. Now, we talked about, you know, what made us start Brown Women Wellness, but then we also realized that we had a ministry Mm -hmm. because we realized that there is so much misinformation out there and so much confusing information that you don't know what to believe. And like we said earlier, we are not vegans, vegetarians. We don't advocate to be low carb, keto, intermediate fasting. We're all of that, believe it or not, at one point or another. Because we do, what we did find out was we believe in bio-individuality. What? Say yeah. it again. Bio-individuality. Come on, $50 okay. word. Break that <laughs> down for me. That means that everyone <laughs> is unique. Mm-hmm. And so what may work for one person may not work for the other. But at the end of the day, we all want the same goal, and that is to be healthy. Yes. Okay? So between the two of us, we have probably tried every diet out there. Every diet, every hack, every, hat, <laughs> every we have detox. detox. <laughs> we have done everything to lose weight. We've probably tried every type of exercise and fitness program. Between the two of us, we probably spent enough money over the universe to try to achieve optimal health. Listen, you say you want to try it. We know we've, we've done it. We got something for it. And we know. So what we do know is that we could bring all this information to one place mm-hmm. and give it to you guys straight with no chaser. Okay. We, if it works well, we're going to tell it. If and. It, and and I'm sorry not to cut you off, Andretta, but I also want to stress this. Because we've done so many things, I am not, and Andretta, we are not advocates. Everything that we do is not for weight purposes. Correct. I want to make sure that we put that out there. Because a lot of times, like I told you guys earlier, my mind, early Aquila, early 20s, uh, was always focused on weight. And that came from, and we're not going to go down that rabbit hole, but that came from comparisons, which came from social media, which came from what I should be looking like in, in comparison to this, da 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 And so everything that we're talking about has nothing to do with a end goal of weight, okay? Because you can be healthy and be one way and you can be unhealthy and be that exact same way. So everything that we're talking about stands from an internal standpoint because as you heal yourself internally, 
the outward result will be the outward result. I just want to make that clear. Sure. And, and and most of the time, you know, if 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 losing weight is is your goal, that'll happen naturally. Yes. Uh so but um we're gonna cover health topics that are relatable to our culture mm-hmm. and 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 how and what we do, how we think, uh how eating our eating habits affect our health. Uh we're gonna dispel myths about our health. And we're gonna give you some actionable steps to improve your health. And of course, when you improve your health, you're going to improve your family health, your your man, your husband, your main squeeze, whatever All you want to call them. And okay? your mental health. Yes, a- absolutely. Because we're here to inspire you. Uh, we understand progress, not perfection. Mm-hmm. Uh, we know wellness is not just about diet and exercise. We know it's about being fulfilled in every aspect of your life. If you're all stressed out, you're not going to be healthy. Uh, if you uh, are anxious, you're not going to be healthy. So we're going to encourage all to show you all different ways you can be healthy. And we're going to bring guests on. They're going to talk about different aspects of ways you can be healthy. And we're going to also, this is going to be a big one for me. We're going to bust through a lot of myths. Okay. You, she, she, let me tell y'all. <laughs> Every day I'm hearing something about, well, did you know? Well, actually, <laughs> well, you, and it's just like, well, okay. <laughs> So she literally is the brown mama myth buster. That's what we're going to coin it. Yeah. Because I cannot turn left without her saying, well, look, if you take this roundabout, actually, that's the best way to go, which um, is the best thing to to have. Because so many times, like she said, there's so much misinformation or we think we're supposed to be doing something this way when really as black women, there are ways in which we should be doing things for us. Not the general mainstream for us specifically. So uh, a big thing for me is mental health, uh, mental health, uh, because I and we'll talk about this in other episodes um, have struggled with anxiety in the past. And I learned not only how to deal with it, how to manage it, almost how to get rid of it, but how it relates to my healthy journey. Um, and, and that's something that I can't wait to talk about as well, because especially with 2020, uh, the entire world is just one big ball of anxious anxiety for Absolutely. one reason or another. Absolutely. So, uh, we're going to talk about mental health as well and how it relates to you uh, taking care of yourself on a healthy journey. And I, since we've uh, started this, our private Facebook group, and if you want to join us, you can find us at Brown Women Wellness and Facebook Right now, we're at 1.8 thousand women. Uh-oh. And yeah, it's growing. Gang, and, gang, gang. And, and, and you know, they teach me too mm-hmm. because they we have a lot of uh, banter back and forth. And we, we learn a lot from that group. And what they are learning too is knowledge is power. Yeah. You know, the more you know. The, the right more, knowledge. The right knowledge. Well, that's why we're here. We're mm-hmm. going, to, if it's not right, we're going to tell it. If it is right, we're going to tell it. Yeah. You know, we're going to tell it either way. Um. So, you know, and, and it's just going to be fun. But we're going to make it fun. And it's going to be actionable. Every single week, you guys will be able to look forward to, uh, in the show notes, you'll have a takeaway. Um, we want to encourage you not only to hear us and retain the information, but actually do it. Uh, so and it'll be easy and it'll be actionable. We have recipes. We'll have um, links to certain things that we like to consume, uh, whether it be teas, whether it be certain food items, or we'll also direct you where you can save money. Yes. While eating healthy, because yes. that's one of the biggest myths out there is that it costs a whole bunch of money to be healthier when that's not necessarily the case. So Absolutely. I'm excited about this whole entire thing. Journey. Yeah. Oh, did we talk about the fact that we're our mother and daughter duo? You know, we did not. Let's we, talk about that. <laughs> okay. Feeling stressed? Need to calm your anxiety naturally? Be Well CBD Tea can do just that. Hand-picked organic herbs infused with CBD will relax you and calm those nerves. Go to brownwomenwellness.com and get your 15% off. Use this code WELLHONEST15. So we, I don't, we mentioned it here and there, but uh, use my mama. I am your mama. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, it's it's been an interesting ride to be in partnership with your 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 mother. Uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. But um, you know what makes us different is that yeah, uh, it's a mother daughter duo. I think there is thirty 
exactly 30 years apart difference between us, right? Ex- exactly. But it, this is a good part, cool part. Um, there are, We have different issues, health yeah. issues. Um, my group, uh, which we're known as the uh, baby boomers. Mm-hmm. So... Um, we have different health issues as opposed to, I think your group is the millennial. Um, they don't like being called listen, millennial, but that's what they are. When you were born in 80, <laughs> what is it? 84, 85, 86. We are older millennials because yes. this new millennial stuff, I'm not sure what's happening, but yes. <laughs> we are millennial. We are. She's a millennial. I am the baby boomer, And basically, you know, um, the difference is I'm just a certified health coach and uh, we're going to be the voice of brown women all over the world. But Keela brings a fresh view from a younger perspective. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that's, that's what, um, how we are bringing this to you. And um, we're going to bring hope, not despair. Uh, because we know life can be messy sometimes. Yeah. And uh, so we're going to do something about this though. Our whole thing is to do something about it. Well, I think that about sums up. I think so. The first episode. That that sums it up. And we look forward to see you guys every week. You'll be able to find us uh, every week. Every right? Thursday. Every Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You'll get an episode once a week, every Thursday. I want to encourage you guys to be a part of the podcast. So uh, what you can do is you can go to our website, brownwomenwellness.com. And when you get to the website, down to the bottom on the left-hand side, there's going to be a blue icon. That blue icon looks like a fun... You'll see it. You'll know it when you see it. It's a funny little symbol. I want you to click on that. And when you click on that, that is your chance to be included in the podcast. You guys can ask a question directly into the mic because that's what it is. Or you can give us some feedback, uh, positive reviews. Uh, We'll even take some constructive criticism because that's how you grow. Keep it cute, though. But, um, you know, we want to encourage you to be a part of the podcast. So if you go down to that left-hand side of the corner on our website, brownwomenwellness.com, leave your question, whatever it may be. There is nothing that you cannot ask us. And then we'll incorporate that on our uh, Q&A uh, question and answer episodes that we'll have um, periodically throughout the uh, season. Also, I want to let them know, and we may not do it on this segment, but you'll hear honesty, honest tips uh, every week. Keela will have an honesty moment. Andretta will have an honesty moment. We're going to tell Andretta you. Andretta will have an honesty that's moment. Me. Yeah, third it's going to be yeah, a third <laughs> person. But we're going to come. We're going to be very honest with you because we're on this journey with you. OK. And also, we want you to know we'll do healthy tips of the week. And we'll also tell you what we love every week. Every week, it'll be something different that we love because we're always finding out new things in health. The health industry, the health and wellness industry is constantly changing. And so we will be right on top telling you some of the things that we love and giving you those things uh, every week. So you'll be hearing those things from us and you'll get a good old healthy tip every week. As Monique said, the legendary Monique, we I do this for us because I love us. So, you know, we do this for us because we love us. Um, And yeah, we look forward to serving you guys in the best, best, best manner that we can. Okay, so we're going to wrap this up. All righty. Thank you for listening to Well Honestly, the podcast. If you want to know more about us and our products, check us out over on our website at brownwomenwellness.com. And remember, ladies, we are not doctors and any information shared by us is not medical advice. Always follow your doctor's advice. And don't forget to rate and review our podcast and let us know what you loved about this week's episode. And please subscribe to wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. Feel free to email us and let us know what you would like to hear more of from us. Don't be afraid to say hi. We'll say hi right back to you. Don't forget to find us across all social platforms at Brown Women Wellness. As always, show notes with links to what we talked about today in this week's episode will be in the description box below. Thanks for listening.